Americans in general are pretty ignorant <laughs> on domestic policy. On foreign policy, oh. you can times it by a hundred. It's that much worse. The fact that we talked before about how there's a lot of things that people are not being informed about. There's uninformed and misinformed. And in many cases, you could be both. Most people don't know what actually happened in Canadian Parliament the other day. They sure as hell are not being made aware of what just happened in Niger the other day. The fact that they have rich natural resources, much like Ukraine, in the trillions of dollars. And France has finally said, we're out because they literally are willing to fight us to not have to deal with us anymore. What do you see is ultimately going to evolve when it comes to the United States? And in that case, are we going to get out? What's it going to translate once it gets over to Haiti? Ah, uh, well, you know, there these are two uh, two uh, issues in Niger. I'm I'm going to try to give a reader to digest version. Yeah. Uh, there was a coup in uh, Niger, military coup, uh, deposed the elected president, but apparently. Uh, this new military government has popular support. Victoria Newland, our old friend, ran over there. So, of course, you know, something horrible is going to happen. Threatened the new government. They told her to kick rocks. Uh, the U.S. then instigated other West African countries like Nigeria, which borders yeah. Niger, to turn off their, their electricity goes through Niger. They cut off their electricity. They're sanctioning Niger because they're daring to be independent. Um, Haiti, poor Haiti, um, which is um, uh, for for 200 years, almost its entire existence, has been victimized first by France, the original colonizer, which held them hostage, told, stole what's billions of dollars today. The U.S. did the same thing about 100 years ago. Uh, the puppet governments the U.S. put in, kidnapping when they finally had a democratically elected president the people wanted, Aristide, the U.S. kidnapped him. Um, the current prime minister is unelected. He has no legitimacy. And we hear about the gangs, the gangs, the gangs in Haiti. Are there gangs in Haiti? Yes. But they get guns where from? There's a, an oligarchic class who run the country, who run the ports. You couldn't have military grade weapons coming into Haiti without their say so. These are people who want the country to be destabilized. So the US is once again, the occupations by the UN. The UN brought cholera to Haiti. Uh, some of the occupation troops about 20 years ago, they dumped their poop in the water and brought cholera to Haiti. That's what these occupations uh, uh, do. And people don't want it, but we keep being told, oh, it's so terrible, and isn't it? Now they've got, we're, we're calling it uh, at Black Agenda Report, blackface imperialism. They've even got African countries, Kenya, right. uh, Rwanda, to say they will send uh, troops. They've got Caribbean nations. What, what better way to make it look like it's not racist, to get uh, Jamaica and the Bahamas and a couple of other nations to send troops? So it's a, it's a terrible thing, but people need to know that the Haitian people don't want these occupations to happen again. They do not want it. It's the worst thing that could happen. This, uh, it's called the core group, the US and the UN and Canada and France. They picked their leaders. They picked this prime minister who may have had a hand in assassinating the last president. Um, and Hillary Clinton, uh, I cannot, if we're gonna talk about Haiti, she forced them to do a, an election over because she didn't like who won. So it's that kind of thing that has made um, uh, life in Haiti so difficult. People are suffering, but they're suffering from outside interference and the Haitian people just want to have a sovereign nation where they make the decisions and the rest of the world stays out of their business. They don't want another armed occupation. Nobody wants that. Nobody no. wants that but us. I mean, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, Niger said, they said to us, please leave. And Joe looked at them and went, mm, yeah, no. I, I, it's, it's, it's mind boggling to me. I, I, and, and then when shit starts to hit the fan 
and they start getting violent and people start getting dead, then everyone's going to be like, oh, see, they're so violent there. We need to be there so that we can calm the natives. And, you know, and the media play that role. It's disgraceful, the role the media play. And all these issues that we've discussed covering up for this administration. Yeah. Um, if you read the New York Times and the Washington Post, you don't know anything you need to know about Ukraine, about Haiti, about China, about any place in the world, uh, because they're, uh, you know, the term collusion that came up when Trump was president, there's collusion uh, um, amongst the, uh, the foreign policy establishment, the military industrial complex, the rich people who run the parties, they all work together. And the end result is unless you uh, read uh, Black Agenda Report, unless you know that you should be uh, looking for other information, then you are deliberately misinformed. We are a very much indoctrinated and propagandized country. That's what we fight. Last yep. thoughts, Margaret. Why do you think people, um, and it's both the liberal and the conservative class are guilty of it, um, why are so many people, and maybe it's an age thing, a generational thing, uh, they simply refuse to look outside of the purview that they've been accustomed to, whether it's CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, etc. You got to cut the cord. These people have got to cut the cord. Well, I think it's it's it's. Uh, I mean, that's what's presented to you over and over and over again. It's the easy thing, um, and then they they reinforce what they're uh, what they're telling you. People say you have to watch on MSNBC. You have to. MSNBC is the worst. They report the same thing. I, I was a captive audience at a, a friend's house recently, and the, every show was about Trump. Trump. Yeah. Every single one. I was like, there's not that much really. to say. There no, really no isn't. No investigation. They never have a guest. Rachel Maddow, she's supposed to be so smart. Does she ever interview anybody who doesn't agree with her? No. no. Well, yeah. so that's not journalism. That's just propaganda. That's all that is. And uh, 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 being a, a mouthpiece for the state. So that's what we have. Um, cutting through that is is difficult, but that's why they censor. They know that if people knew where to go, and a lot of people do, who you know yeah. watch your uh, podcast, who read Black Agenda Report, but that's their nightmare, that people uh, realize how much uh, they're being lied to and how much they're being fooled. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.